Hello everybody. My name is Jessica Gonzalez and I am a teacher in the Diocese of San Bernardino. Thank you so much for spending some of your precious time with us today here at I Got Today. I am both honored and I am so excited to talk to you. Today is Monday, January the 6th, 2020. I'd like to start out today by sharing with you one of my favorite quotes from Mother Teresa. She said, we cannot all do great things, but we can do small things with great love. This particular saying came to my mind when I prepared to share with you today about our saint. Today, we celebrate the life of Saint André Bisset. Now, at the age of 25, Alfred approached the Holy Cross Brothers in 1870 with a note from his pastor saying, I am sending you a saint. The brothers found this difficult to believe because for the last 10 years, Alfred had wandered from shop to shop, farm to farm, in both his native Canada and in the United States. Because of his bad health, he was only able to do a little bit of work. Now, the Holy Cross brothers were teachers, and since Alfred did not know how to read and write, they were sure he approached the religious order out of desperation, not vocation. They did accept him into the novitiate, but soon found out what others had learned. As hard as Alfred, now brother Andre, wanted to work, he simply wasn't strong enough, and they asked him to leave the order. But Andre, who was prayerful and deeply devoted to God and St. Joseph, had appealed to a visiting bishop who promised him that he could stay and take his vows. Now, after his vows, brother Andre was sent to Notre Dame College in Montreal as a porter. Okay, so there his responsibilities were to answer the door, welcome guests, find the people they were visiting. He had to wake up those in the school and deliver mail. Brother Andre joked later, at the end of my novitiate, my superior showed me the door and I stayed there for 40 years. Now in 1904, he asked the Archbishop of Montreal for permission to build a chapel to St. Joseph on the mountain that was near the college. Now permission was granted on the condition that Brother Andre financed it himself. Now you gotta remember, the only money Brother Andre had was nickels and dimes that he got as a donation for haircuts that he did for the boys. Now with that little amount that he had, he was still able to build a small wooden shelter about 15 feet by 18 feet, and for years he continued to collect money. Three years later, he asked if he could build more. The weary archbishop asked him, are you having visions of St. Joseph telling you to build a church for him? Brother Andre reassured him, I have only my great devotion to St. Joseph to guide me. The Archbishop did grant him permission to keep building as long as he didn't go into debt. He started by adding a roof so that all the people who were coming to hear Mass at the shrine wouldn't have to stand out in the rain and the wind. Then came the walls, heating, a paved road up the mountain, a shelter for pilgrims, and finally a place where Brother Andre and others could live and take care of the shrine. And the pilgrims who came, it was a full-time job now. Now, through kindness, caring, and devotion, Brother Andre helped many souls experience healing and renewal on the mountaintop. There were even cases of physical healing. But for everything, Brother Andre thanked St. Joseph and God. Now, Brother Andre died January the 6th, 1937, at the age of 91. And though he did not live to see the Basilica completed, he did show us that while he may have had troubles working for himself, he never stopped working for God. And on October 17, 2010, Pope Benedict XVI formally declared him to be Saint Andre Basset. You see, Brother Andre didn't really think he was doing a great thing. He was only doing something out of his great love and devotion to our Lord and Saint Joseph. The key, my friends, is keep doing. Let us pray. Blessed Brother Andre, your devotion to St. Joseph is an inspiration to us. You gave your life selflessly to bring the message of Christ's love to others. Pray that we may learn from St. Joseph and from you what it is like to care for Jesus and do his work in the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray, amen. 
Thank you for partnering with WordNet. Now we have an easy and fun way of making your donations to WordNet. Use the number that is on the screen to text your amount and follow the on-screen instructions. Thank you very much and be blessed always.